Let's use this video as an example. To start, select the video on your timeline by clicking on it. You'll see a white border appear, indicating that the video is selected. Next, navigate to the top right menu and choose Audio. Then, click on Noise Reduction. By checking this box, the program will automatically analyze your audio and attempt to reduce any background noise present in the video. Additionally, you can adjust the volume levels by increasing or decreasing them to further refine the audio quality. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Use this video as an example. Click the text Choose Auto Caption. They will recognize speech in the video and generate auto captions. You can see there are many languages. You can choose a language. It depends on what language your video is. Depending on the language of this video, I chose English. Then click on Create. CapCut will listen to the video and turn whatever is being said into captions. Now let me just play the video and show you what we have. I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth. Then we can customize the text. Click on the text dot go to the cat cut right side. You can see apply to all is checked, that means. If I change anything here, it's going to change everything in the video. For example, if I change the color to yellow, even though I'm only editing the first text, but it will also change every other text in a video. That's because it applies to all. Let's move on. We can scroll around and see what you like. Choose a different font. Make the font bigger or smaller. You'll notice that once you change anything, it's going to change all the other text in the video. Let me play the video again and show you what we have. You can see CapCut isn't perfect sometimes. We need to do a little bit of changes. Here you can see it's actually two different lines, but it's put into one sentence. Choose the text and then click Captions. In this case, I need to split this into two different texts. So I'm going to click on this and then Backspace and hit Enter. Now you can see that we have two different texts. Let me play the video again and show you what we have. You can also notice is that they don't have any punctuation and they didn't capitalize any of the subtitles. To fix this, we need click on text and edit the captions. Now I capitalize the first captions and add in punctuation. Then, I'll just continue editing the rest of the captions just like this. Now let me play the video. Are you okay, sweetie? I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth, and tied it around my neck. Cookie? <laughs> Carol, move your stuff out. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.
Let's go ahead and get started. Use this video as an example. Go to the left side of the cap cut and click on the effects. Open the video effects drop down menu and find smart sharpen. Now drag the effect on top of the video in your timeline. You can adjust the length of the sharpen effect with the ends of this blue effect on the video. Then, go to the right side of the cap cut. You can adjust the blur filters range and sharpen. Put the blur to 30 the filters at 60 the range at 55 and the sharpen at 30, these are the 4K settings. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. To start, select your video clip and copy it. Then head to Adjustments, go to Curves, and adjust the curves for each color. Keep repeating this for all the colors in your video. Next, add the blur effect to your video clip. Adjust the blur as needed. Then go to blend mode. And choose either linear burn or color burn. Adjust the opacity. Now, let's enhance it further by adding a white background video overlay from the media library. If it's too short, extend the duration. Click the video section. Adjust the blend mode to overlay and fine tune it. Then click the first video, moving on to adjustments, go to basic settings. Here, adjust the brightness, contrast, and sharpen the video. That's it! If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up Share it and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's say you finished editing a project on CapCut PC and now you want to upload it to YouTube with a custom thumbnail. After completing your edit, click on the cover icon to edit the cover. Here, click Replace. You have two options. You can select a frame from your video or select from your computer. I'll select Select from Video.
and then click Save. We can choose filters that suit our needs. CatCut provides templates that you can use for your thumbnail. Choose a template that suits your video category. You can edit the text, adjust the size, change the title, modify the color, font type, style, and more. Once you're satisfied with your design, click Save. Your cover is now created. When you export your project, the cover will be exported along with it. You'll have both the video file and the thumbnail image ready to upload on YouTube. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials Thanks for watching.